Let's get started on your Algebra 2 notes over writing equations of lines. This is meant to be a review of some stuff that you've learned in Algebra 1. So we're going to use this new form of a linear equation. You've learned slope-intercept form, y equals mx plus b. You've learned standard form, ax plus by equals c. Today we're going to use this form right here, which is point-slope form. We're going to write equations of lines when you're given a slope and a point. And here's the formula that we're going to use. We're going to put our slope right here where it says m. We're going to take our x and y values in our ordered pair, and we're going to plug them in right here. So subtract your y value from y, subtract your x coordinate from x, and then we're we'll figure out the equation of the line in point slope form, and then we'll convert it to slope intercept form by solving for y. So let's look at number one. So I have my slope is 3 fourths, and it passes through the point 8, 5. So this is my x value, this is my y value, and this is my slope. So if I plug it into this point slope formula, y minus the y value, y minus 5, equals my slope, which is 3 fourths, times x minus the x value, which is 8. And now I'm just going to simplify um, or solve this equation for the or for y. I'm going to get y all by itself. So y minus 5 equals, and I'm going to distribute this 3 fourths into each term on the inside of the parentheses. 3 fourths times negative 8 is negative 6, so minus 6. Then I'm going to add 5 to both sides to get rid of the 5 on the left side, and I add it to the other constant term, and I get negative 1. Now how can you check your work? Well, I have a, slope, a line with a slope of 3 fourths. Check. Does it pass through the point 8, 5? Meaning, when I plug in 8 for x, do I get 5 for y? 3 fourths times 8 is 6. 6 minus 1 is 5. Check. We're good to go. So you can always check your work. Moving on to number 2, we have a slope of negative 4 and the line passes through the point 6, negative 1. So I'm going to plug it into my formula. Be very careful. Your y value is negative 1. y minus your y value of negative 1. Be very careful when you have those negative numbers in there with a minus sign in your formula, because y minus negative 1 will simplify to y plus 1. And I do have students that sometimes just go ahead and write that out. If it's minus a negative, that's automatically, they're just going to write plus. Equals slope of negative 4, x minus 6. And now we're going to simplify this. y minus negative 1 is y plus 1 equals, I'm going to distribute this negative 4, and I get negative 4x, distribute this negative 6, and I get plus 24. And now I'm going to solve for y by subtracting 1 from both sides, and I get negative 4x plus 23. And again, how can I check my work? I've got a line with a slope of negative 4. Does it pass through the point 6, negative 1? When I plug in 6 for x, do I get negative 1 for y? Well, negative 4 times 6 is negative 24. Negative 24 plus 23 is negative 1. Check. Okay, so that's how you write the equation of a line when you're given a slope and a point that the line passes through. What about when you're just given two points? So what do you do when you need to write an equation of a line that passes through two points and that's all you know? Well, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to find the slope using your slope formula. So that's something that we had in our previous two problems. We already had the slope. In this case, you have to find the slope. And then you've got two points, you're just going to pick one point. And then we're back to where we were in problems one and two, where we've got the slope and two, point, or two points on a line, we're going to pick a point. So number three says, write the equation of the line that passes through the points 0, 4, and 6, negative 2. Well, the first thing I'm going to do is find the slope of this line. And I do that by subtracting my y values, I put that in the numerator, that's my change in y, and then remember change in y over change in x. So I'm going to subtract my y values, negative 2 minus 4. 
I wrote them in that order, and now I'm going to find my change in x values. 6 minus 0. Negative 2 minus 4 is negative 6. You know what? That should not be a 6. That should be a 0. So let's redo that. 6 minus 0, negative 6 over 6. What does that simplify to? Negative 1. So now we have our slope, and we have two points on the line. But what I'm going to do is pick a point to use in your point slope formula. So I usually pick the easiest point or what I think is going to be the easiest point when I plug it into my formula, and that's going to be 0, 4. Anytime there's a 0 as a coordinate, I will absolutely use that ordered pair. So if I plug it into my formula, y minus y1, well, that's going to be y minus 4, because that's the y value, equals my slope, which is negative 1, times x minus the x value. Well, x minus 0 is just that. And then I'm going to simplify this. y minus 4 equals negative 1 times x, which is negative x. And obviously, negative 1 times 0 is 0. So some of you might be able to simplify that or figure that out early on. Um, and then I'm going to add 4 to both sides to get y all by itself. And I get negative x plus 4 as my the equation of the line that passes through these two points. And then you can obviously take both of these ordered pairs. When I plug in 0 for x, do I get 4 for y? Absolutely. When I plug in 6 for x, do I get negative 2 for y? I sure do. Therefore, my answer is correct. Let's go on to number four. Write the equation of the line that passes through the points 6, 7, and 5, 3. So again, I need to find my slope. So let's subtract our x value or our y values. We're going to do 3 minus 7, and I just always go in that order, over 5 minus 6. 3 minus 7 is negative 4. 5 minus 6 is negative 1, and this simplifies to positive 4. So I've got a line with a slope of positive 4, and now I'm just going to pick a point to use in our formula. So which one would you pick? I would pick this one right here. Okay, 5, 3 seems easier than 6, 7, but it doesn't matter which point you pick. You'll get the same answer. Okay, so y minus the y value, which is 3, equals my slope, which is 4, times x minus the x value x minus 5. So I've got y minus 3 equals 4x minus 20. I'm going to add 3 to both sides to solve for y, and I get 4x minus 17. And that concludes your notes over writing equations of lines review. I hope it was helpful.